Hi uh, YouTube, <laughs> gonna be doing another dual commentary today. We got X Cloud, we got the lovely Lion King, 1695, two Exodia. I remember doing this, casting this guy before, like back, back in March I think, 1811. So it's just really gonna be hands and Girgia again, like really. I mean, or not hands, but hat, hat and Girgia. It's like the two most played decks. I've seen, I've actually seen a lot of Bujins too. But opening with double MK2 is not that good. Especially when you just got the free plus one right there. And I do not agree with doing that first. I probably would have Girgia geared first, but then he would have solemned. But I guess, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, those, those Ice Hand beatdowns are just, just really... A lot, a lot of ice hand beatdowns I've been seeing lately. But I mean, obviously you're gonna see the hands in this match because you know, like I said, like 90, 80 or 90 percent of the matches you're gonna see on DN are gonna have the hands in them. I'm just saying, you are gonna see these guys. So, I mean, you might as well just main deck debunk. You might as well. So, two Exodia is gonna go for a a gear again in defense, and might as well go for another one. Maybe a black ship in defense, maybe. I don't know. So let's see. It doesn't really yeah, black ship in defense. Like those are like your only options. You can go another one of those in defense or just a black ship in defense. Just try to get rid of one of them. X Cloud no response. Probably gives away one of those at least as a an artifact. Maybe. I don't even know. It's not a wiretap, he would have negated the gear gear gear, so I don't know, maybe a D Prism. X Cloud's turn. Let's see what the heck's going to happen. He, I mean, it, Two Exodia is putting him in the place where he has to exceed or do something now because, you know, he's just gonna activate both of these guys next turn. So let's see. Let's see what the heck is going to happen. I mean, y you're literally putting X Cloud in the place where you have to exceed or Dark Hole or something, or I guess you could summon Fire Hand. Guess that. Guess that's an option. The thing is, he does have a Gigano in Graveyard, and he's just going to evac it. He's just going to evac it. So, it's a plus one, but it doesn't really, like, if x -Cloud doesn't have a follow-up play, I mean, that plus one's not really going to mean anything. And it turns out he doesn't have a follow-up play. So, two Exodia going to uh, activate Black Ship first, obviously. And then, just detach, get another free card, and... I mean, at this point, two Exodia is in a really, you know, pretty decent place. I mean, going for whatever it's called, the uh, ah, completely forgot. <laughs> going for that Ghost Shark Allah card probably wasn't the, the 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 worst of plays. Now that I think back at it, so two Exodia is just gonna go for that lovely beatdown play. I I'm actually a pretty big fan of that play. Just going for. MK2, Gagano, and then tributing it for Accelerator and Attack Mode. That is actually a pretty nice play. I've seen a lot of people do that lately. Because, you know, Blackhorn is just, like, everywhere that you just, you have to attack first. Like, the odds of them having Blackhorn is so much greater than Mirror Force. Like, it's not even funny. He's just going to deep on that, which is free advantage for two Exodia. He's just going to get back Gagano and just attack. And if, uh, he already activated Black Ship, so, he, yeah, he probably should have kept it in defense. And he'll attack for 500. I'll put him at 11, and he can go for... Well, he already used his all the cards, so he can go for his Zed mains. I mean, the, I think his Zed mains right now would, would not be that bad of an option. Maybe Soul Silver Mountain, maybe, but probably Zed mains. And let's see what he's going to go for here. I mean, you really only have two. Or maybe me if you have room for engineer, then I guess. But I mean, I'm just saying, I would I would make a Zen mains because it, it pretty it pretty much gives away that was an artifact. And did I call that D prism? I actually called that. Wow, I called that as D prism an artifact. And he he goes he does have the room for the engineer. And he's like, I don't get how these people have room for engineer in their extra deck. Like seriously, there's so many good exceeds rank fours and rank threes that I just I just do not see the room for this guy. But I mean, whatever. It's still, you know, a pretty decent card. So it's X Cloud's turn. You know he has a Fire Hand in hand, and I'm pretty sure that's an artifact. So unless he can like really do a, a pretty good play here, I mean, it's not going 
I mean, we're probably obviously going to see us go to game number two. So he's thinking. I mean, if he he can only soul charge for one, that's the problem. And I well yeah, he does have some hands in the graveyard, so he could soul charge for one and then go for an Exidon, but that won't do that much because obviously, I mean, that's this would just activate this would just get a free card. I mean, he could set fire hand, but then again, I mean, I guess. I mean, if, if you set fire hand, it might not be that bad. Okay, he's going to ignition. He'll ignition this is set, just to get that out of the way. And then he'll set probably a more attack from his deck. Let's see what that set card was. Think about maybe chaining it? I don't know what you're... Well, you're probably going to chain. Oh, it's just a call. So he'll get an artifact from his deck to the spell and trap card zone. And... I mean, at this point, he can... He can try to do some some greater play. I don't really know. I mean, he, he cleared up the back row, but the problem is, you know, you still... He's just going to summon the fire hand. So he's going to attack an engineer, maybe. And that might activate it putting itself in defense mode. Maybe. I mean, that, that's not that bad of an idea. And let's see... And he's just, he's just going to ditch Maxi right now, so that's a pretty decent idea. Get some draws in. And then xCloud will take 200 and get that ice in from his deck. Well, he actually doesn't have to get the ice in from his deck, but I mean, you obviously are. I mean, you're at, you're only at freaking 900 life points. Which one is he going to kill? Kill the, the and He's just going to kill the Engineer. And he's going to let it die. And he's going to get ice hand from his deck in defense mode. Oh, he's just going to mind control. Wow. Okay. So, it's kind of interesting. I haven't seen that many mind controls in Hat, but mind control is really good against your opponent's hands. And he's just going to 101 that black ship, and, you know, I mean, that was, you got to admit, that was a pretty decent follow-up play, because now Xcloud is actually, you know, you know, even with two Exodia. He sets one, and, I mean... Cowboy won't even, won't even be enough to win this. So, I mean, if you have, like, an MST... And he could go maybe for an Heartland Draco. I don't know. So he's just going to set three. That might be an armor set. He's just going to attack. He doesn't really have any other cards to use. Let's see what that set was. And it was an Ice Hand, so he was playing Gear Gear Hands. So, interesting. That gets rid of Rinka Magic the Seventh. A lot of people are playing this. Or just randomly playing it. It's, it's actually pretty good. But the problem is you have to draw it for your draw phase, and if you don't do if you don't draw for your draw phase, then it's going to be pretty dead. So we see a blind MST on his double cyclone, and now if he has a little four monster in his hand, he can go straight into Heartland Draco and win this. And let's see, does he have a level four in his hand? Because you know that you know what his set is. That's obviously probably a hand. So I mean I mean I don't I don't really know. I mean I don't I don't know if he has the room for Heartland Draco, but I mean it's such it's a, it's a really good card but it's really situational too, but it it is it could be you know maybe close to a stable. I don't really know. Leave your thoughts below if you think Heartland Draco is a stable. I don't know. It's just right now it would be really good. He's going to kill his fire hand then he'll kill his set monster. Which is a drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. What the heck is that set monster? And it is a Tractrix Diana. So, yeah, <laughs> that was just a bluff. So he'll get Ice Hand in defense mode or attack mode. Whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. He'll kill his more attack, which won't be the best of plays. I mean, I would probably go Ice Hand in defense mode. I mean, there's... You don't really want to kill that back row. I don't know. I, w I would love to know what 2 Exodia's hand is right now. I'd love to know. So... I mean, personally, I would do that in defense mode. Just end. Because, you know, if you kill the Mortech during X-Cloud's turn, then whoop-de-doo. 
Oh, he's just gonna he's just gonna go for it. Okay. Okay, he must have he he obviously has a follow up plan. I mean I mean if he's gonna kill that, then he obviously has a follow up plan. So he's gonna go fire hand, and then he might just. He he's obviously not gonna activate the effect. I mean come on. <laughs> And let's see, does he really play three of each hand in his build? I haven't really, I, I haven't really seen that. You gotta play the 13 Gear Gear Monsters, then you gotta play, play six more hands. That's just, that's just too much, if you ask me. And now that Ice Hand is just dead, because there's no cards to pop. And he does have a level four monster. And this is a wonderful example, kids, on why you should play Heartland Draco. Because this duel would have ended like three minutes ago. <laughs> oh my god. Really? And he actually, yeah, he used to detach the black shit, but it doesn't matter. X Cloud, you're gonna top that. He can't even top that Soul Charge. Can't even. There's nothing. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna be going right into game two, but I mean, the lesson we all learned today is play Heartland Drago. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to game number two. Giria took game one because of a, a pretty well sequenced attack with hands into a 101, which could have ended faster if it wasn't. If he would have played Heartland Draco, X Cloud's gonna be going this, going first in this game. He's gonna take the mind control, pretty good against Girgia. You know, when they, whenever they set that armor, it's basically a free out. And you know, obviously he's playing Girgia hands, so that's a free out to the hands. He's gonna set a hand, obviously, <laughs> obviously, and set two and pass it to Exodia. So let's see what he is going to do. A Nolman across Scout wouldn't be that bad. He's just gonna set a monster. And set four, three, four, set four. Okay, that's pretty much how like all the first turn plays in Yu-Gi-Oh go right now. It's like as always, set monster, set three, set monster, set four. So he flips summons fire hand, and he's probably gonna mind control. Maybe I don't know. He says it's okay, so... Oh, he's just going to attack. No fear. No fear whatsoever. If it's an armor, though, you, you, you already know you're going to give him a free card. He's just going to fiendish in. Really? Really? I don't... <laughs> that must give away that it's a Gagano or something. Really? Fiendish chain? A hand? 